Most people picked the wrong answer to this question when they took a real GRE. You should be able to find the right answer in about 15 seconds using our strategy majority rule. It takes advantage of the fact that there are little mistakes hidden in the answer grid. As we look at the left hand side of the answer grid, we notice that there are three answers that begin with 2x. So 2x is probably in our right answer. We notice that four of the answers have a plus sign in the middle, so answer A probably isn't the right answer. On the right hand side, three of the answers end with a square root of 2. But the right answer explains all of the wrong answers in the answer grid, and we notice that three of the answers actually have an x times square root of 2 in them, in different places on the plus sign. But there's one particular answer that's very interesting because it's so much different than the other answers. We call it the stranger. Can you see which answer the stranger is pointing you towards? So the right answer was included in all of our groups. It was 2x plus x times the square root of 2. Now we can see what the problem was all about. In the figure above, each of the four squares has sides of length x. If triangle PQR is formed by joining the centers of three of the squares, what is the perimeter of triangle PQR in terms of x? So we can mark an x on the side of each small triangle on the outside of the big triangle. Since P, Q, and R are the midpoints of the squares, P, Q, and Q, R each have a length of x as well. Now we have an isosceles right triangle with two x sides and one x square root of two side, just like answer E said. Now let's see what happens if somebody misreads the problem and thinks each side of the big square has a side of x. This makes the PQR triangle half of the original side, with two legs seeming to have a side of x over 2 and the hypotenuse of x square root of 2 over 2. And there it is, answer B. You could pick it. We called it the stranger and it pointed us to the right answer. So rather than making a predictable mistake on the math test and picking the stranger, we prefer to have the stranger point us to the right answer, which was E. Testing for the public. Nonprofit since 1985. No one makes things easier.